This is Robert Lomavatu reporting to you live on scene about 500 yards away from our school. Uh, the pine beetle. They last and live about one year per beetle, but they kill millions of trees in our forests. Each female lays an egg after it burrows deep into the sides of the trees, making holes and developing vast tunnels and columns that the eggs will grow in. Each female lays approximately 75 eggs before its death. Uh, as, as time goes on and winters have slowly warmed, more and more pine beetle are growing and would you look at this hole right here? I I don't think this really has anything to do with pine beetle, but then again, actually maybe it does. You can see the burrows in there where the pine beetle have grown. I I don't know if this really is, but oh my God, it's red. In conclusion, once a tree has been infected, there is nothing you can do to stop it. It will just go on and on until our entire forests have turned red and carbon dioxide is in the air and our atmosphere has been destroyed. <laughs> News team, assemble! Robert, we've literally been here the entire time you have. Dr. Magnuson has found the cure for pine beetle. This is extraordinary. Dr. Magnuson. We have to find Dr. Magnuson. Dr. Magnuson. Dr. Magnuson right here. Have you not found a cure for the pine beetle infestation? <laughs> it, is, <laughs> it is being worked on. It from? is being worked on. We are currently researching new features. Turn red. That I don't know. What to say. No. Oh, he, we have gotten word that you have found a cure for this pine beetle infestation. From who? <laughs> from rumors. We're the news media. That's how we do it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're almost Is there. this true? <laughs> no, almost. Almost. There you have it, people. Back to you, Robert. Fact! Lysol kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Fact! They can fly. Recent studies from the Rochester University of Entomology suggest that climate change plays a major role in the pine beetle's sustainability in our environment. So I guess no one out here really knows anything. Let's go for a walk and see what we can find out. All carries are six dollars. So it's in here. Our graduate has to walk into the. Oh man. Oh. Please stay holding. Excuse me, I'm not bothering you, but. Oh. What do you know about pine beetle? Um, no, I, I heard it's uh, a major natural disaster in forests. Uh, that's a very good fact. You don't need to do anything else. Uh, uh, it's it's from the axis of Sydney. I heard that. I heard that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Which, which really affects uh, forest fires, does it not? Uh, yeah, it uh, kills the trees and makes them more susceptible. Do you hear anything else? Or, uh, uh, no, I, I actually heard uh, that the 4.7 million hectares of the 14 million of uh, large point pine in BC are affected by it. I'm extremely impressed. I told that one. Thanks. No. <laughs> Hello, this is Trevor Mack from NBC Action News, and we are here with Professor Mayo from the Rochester University of Entomology. How are you doing? I'm just fine, thank you. 
Okay, well, we're here to ask you about pine beetles today, because that's what you study, obviously. And uh, what have you discovered in your years of study? Well, the pine beetle is its a very serious issue in British Columbia right now. Um, it's spreading very rapidly uh, over the last 10 or 15 years. It started in the Chilcotin and kind of in the, in the western part of the province, and it's spread across um, all it's spread east and it's actually finally jumped the Rockies and, and it's spreading through um, Alberta now. That is very startling information. Actually, uh, many of our viewers probably didn't know that, and now you do. So, uh, how, long, how long does it take for the pine beetle to actually start mating? To start mating? What do you, I, I don't know if that's to make To make babies. Well, what are, but what are you specifically asking? Like, do you want to know? Um, I, I'm, they, they make pretty quickly. Yes. If that's what you want yes, to know. They. Okay. However, um, it's it's actually. Did you know it's not actually the pine beetle itself that kills the trees? It's, I didn't know that. It's actually a fungus that gets in when the when the pine beetle comes into the tree. It's actually a, a fungus that kills the tree. Well, that, you learn something new every day. It's a fungus that actually kills the pine beetle. I mean, it's, okay. Hello, this is Trevor Mack from uh, NBC Action News, and we're here with. Uh, no, I said to my chest. Oh, okay. I didn't see you there. Mountain pine beetles. Oh, my God. Uh, we have here uh, Professor <laughs> Jahid Akmihara from the <laughs> University of Hogwarts. Uh, right here. Professor, what do you know about <laughs> what the provincial government is currently doing to combat the problem we have right now in our environment with uh, the mountain pine beetles in BC? What are they doing? You're the professor of entomology here. You're the student here. Trevor Mack from Channel 5 News Action News. Here to bring a special report on our technicians here at this research lab. Dr. How has your study been going on pine beetles? Uh, I'm not doing pine beetles. Okay, there's a, we got the wrong group of people. They're over here. Somebody will be fired for that. Ooh! 